Happy Easter, everyone. April 11th, and I gotta go plow my driveway. Wow. Wow, because I didn't think I was going to have to plow again. If it had been warmer, I wouldn't have had to do it, but... Driveway's clear. Hi friends, Marty up north here. Today is April 14th, it's a Tuesday. Uh, introduction to this video, yesterday was a Monday, so I wanted to, you know, we, we have uh, strict orders in Alberta, they're closing down uh, provincial parks and federal parks, and I tried to respect that order, but I needed to try and get out somehow or other. And uh, so I drove up the uh, forestry trunk road through the ghost uh, public land use zone, through the ghost wilderness, ended up at Yaha Tinda. And it's evident that the government has gone through a lot of effort to shut down the parks and all the recreational area. There's warnings everywhere. But I still ended up just south of Yaha Tinda Ranch at the trailhead for uh, Eagle Lakes. And I parked in what I believe truly was a legally pla legal place to park. And I hiked in with the intention of going to the park, or not to the park, to uh, Eagle Lake. Uh, got turned around after about three hours of struggling and exploring. And uh, I don't feel bad about it, but I'll tell you why I got turned around. I got turned around because the snow is starting to melt. And the snow is so sticky that when I was wearing my snowshoes, the, the snowshoes were so heavy with the melting, sticking snow. And if I took off my snowshoes, I was post-holing so much and getting soaking wet. So it was, uh, it, there was no easy way to travel. And the trail has not been used. And, I, and so mission accomplished for two reasons. A, it convinced me that, uh, well, I got out and I felt good about going out, but now I don't, now I've realized that, you know what, no matter what, no matter the closures, and the closures might be driving us a little bit nuts, respect the closures, because the government's going out of their way to make sure we don't go on the land. And uh, if we push too hard, I think the government will push back. We already saw they put a fire ban. They'll throw everything at us to get us off the land. I don't know why they want us out of the parks. Makes no sense, but it is what it is. But despite that, don't feel so bad about the closures because I'm telling you, as a hiker, I went out there yesterday and it's, it, is the, it is the start of the proper melt right now. The trails are thick. So if you're trying to find a trail that's completely off the beaten path, you'll be in snow so deep it'll be miserable. You can't go on the popular trails that have been compacted down. So off the beaten path where I was yesterday, the snow is so deep and so wet and, and when you do find a patch that's neither or, then it's muddy. So the conditions are just not right right now. So enjoy your uh, isolation at home. Uh, get ready for spring, do some gardening, get your yard ready, maybe go buy a can of paint, paint your deck, whatever. But don't feel bad about not going in the parks because it's not a pleasant time to be out in the parks at this very moment. So hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it was a failure, but it was a success. And um, hopefully it gives you a little something to watch on uh, uh, today. Um, it is hard for me right now to come up with content as a creator, but uh, hope you enjoyed this. something you see every day, just a wild horse. One, two, three, four wild horses. See how they got no shoes on their hooves? Long fur.
licking all the salt. Jesus. They're not getting out of the way. Tinda over there and I can tell it's closed. That's the front range. Now I'm gonna park here and head into Eagle Lake. And according to this, I can't go beyond that. No vehicle beyond that point. Got it. So if I'm parked here, legally I should be okay. And then I got a short hike in to Eagle Lake. Oh my God. It feels so incredibly good to be out here and to go exercise my own brand of social distancing go hike stay overnight wow I needed this I mean I love my family but having everybody in the house for three weeks now they're getting on my nerves someone else was here this weekend I think I'm gonna to have to take off the snowshoe soon because it's not deep enough and the snow's sticking to them. So they're super heavy. I gotta take off the snowshoes. Too sticky. Everything is just sticking in the feet way a ton. Woo. Well, now there's an added danger. See, I just slipped on this. Doesn't look like much, but uh, trying to find the trail. The trail melted, then got blown over again, and it's under snow. Very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Oh, man. It doesn't look like much of a trail, but that's it, I hope. That's the trail. Logs that are cut like that. Always a good sign. Means humans have been here, means I'm on a trail. Slow progress. Very slow. <sighs> Time for a snack. <sighs> Two hours for like four kilometers max. I'm going slow. 
all this isolation at home is having a toll. I'm out of shape. Haven't been out hiking in three weeks. Uh, I'm guessing I'm there in about an hour. All right. <coughs> Green belly, meals ready to go. So this is mango cashew and uh, this meal provides approximately one third of your daily nutrition. So it's got a nice balance of, uh, of carbs and fats and sugars, all the good stuff. So, and it's in a resealable pouch. When you're too lazy to cook, like on the trail like I am right now. Suckers are huge. Something unexpected. Grant McPherson, ride in peace. And Gus Guy Ness, ride the high country. Nice. This is the view from their grave. I'm supposed to be. Son of a bitch. Frick. Fuck. Oh, <sighs> Pretty. But not where I want to be. Oh well, I'm thinking this was a bad attempt. Time to turn around. Too slippery, too much snow, too hot, just not. I'm shaking. Something just made a big crack. Came from right there. And I mean, it was big. Yeah, defeat. <laughs> it happens. This, these park closures are causing problems. People aren't hiking, and uh, the trails are really blown over right now. And uh, normally at this time of year, it's best to do uh, popular trails that that are that, that have been flattened a bit where the snow melts. This snow here is acting as an insulator. There's so much of it, it's not melting.
snotty, snotty, snotty. Totally zero traction with boots on. Oh, shit. Oh, gross. Put away the camera. <sighs> I really injured my knee, my left knee. Ah! The tracks from earlier. Now it's slush and slippery. Underneath the slush is ice. Very dangerous. Bad idea. Bad idea all around. This ain't gonna happen. Well, I had to see it for myself. We're gonna have to wait about hmm, two, three weeks before we start hiking because the trails are, the shoulder season is in the fall. When, uh, when it's starting to snow, but the, there isn't a second, whoop, what happened here? There isn't a second so shoulder season because in the spring, uh, the runoff is a real problem. So I just needed to come out here and see for myself. We'll, uh, we'll sit at home and enjoy the, uh, the self-isolation of COVID-19 for a couple more weeks and then we'll come out. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, <coughs> it's a failure in a sense but you know it's not a failure because I got out so I'd rather be out than inside. Anyways hope you enjoyed this folks. Uh, maybe I'll stop along the way take pictures. There was lots of goats on the way in. Or sheep. This is God's country. That's the mighty Red Deer River. God, I live in a beautiful country. Best place in the world, bar none.